this. I don't like this. All I want you to do is tell me a technique that you think other window cleaners do that is bad. Or what's something that you did bad that you've learned, that you used to do bad that you've learned to not do anymore? Listen to you. You don't want to listen to me anymore? <laughs> yeah. That's me. <laughs> off because today I'm going to talk about all the window cleaning techniques that I think are horrible out there but don't be angry these are just my own ideas of what I think is bad so as far as things that people try to tell me about their tools here's some of the things that I hate that people try to talk about people that tell you that they oh I only use one rubber for six months or 12 months or whatever <laughs> Go look at their windows. Check out their windows. Go check out how much work they have. I know they'll try to come around here and say, you don't know shit. You don't know what you're talking about. Dude, this is the most important thing. People always ask me, how do you get the windows so clean? I say, well, the solution is great. You know, I just use Dawn soap. But the most important thing is using a fresh rubber. Whenever I see guys not use fresh rubber and you just see streaks everywhere, it's the easiest, easiest thing to fix. But for some people, just don't want to let go. These cost what, as far as rubber was? Max $2 a piece. That's nothing compared to the amount of money you make in a day. So a lot of people think that everything needs to be fanned. Straight pulls work great on commercial work like this. And then one thing I hate that I see is when people do straight pulls though, they don't detail the top. You really don't need to detail this area because most people will not look at that. Never had anybody ask me about that kind of stuff. And this is another huge pet peeve of mine. Clean your frames. Don't leave stuff all over the frames. Another bad technique that I see is I see a lot of companies won't clean off the bottom of these and they won't also wipe the door. This is why I have this big towel. Just make sure everything looks good all the way to the ground. Always wipe off your lettering, this kind of stuff. If you do not wipe it off, will drip. I see that all the time. In other people's work, they just do not get that part. When you're removing the water from this frame at the end, I really don't like this technique, I'll show you. I hate this. People leave it like this. Don't do that. Either wipe it up with your towel, leave it clean, be a professional, or don't do it. On these bottom ones, if you don't want to use a towel, let me do that. One of the techniques I really hate seeing is when you have a window, it's a little bit too tall for you. So people either use an accelerator or a wide tail and get it down halfway. But when you do this and you have half the water left, don't start from over here and come in. Start from the middle. Why? If you start right here from the side, you can get a huge arcing streak right there. If you start in the middle, those chances are a lot lower than when you come back to grab it. Oh wow, what's that? So the chances are a lot lower when you start in the middle and you come back and grab that extra water that's there leaving that arcing streak. And then, if you are detailing top windows, like straight pools, this will not work. You have to at least double ply it like this and get a bunch. But the funny thing is, is for detailing after fanning, I hate bunching it up. So when I clean this, and print 
that's there. Always get all the imprints off. Muy importante. So, the squeegee, I started my middle, so it looks great. But when detailing here, you just want to use finger. You don't want to bunch. That can create a big old nasty streak there. Something else that's bad to do when cleaning windows is to jam the ends. So I'm talking about doing this side to side or up and down. The way I mop is just nicely up. I don't hit the top. I leave about an inch there. I let the mop just run on the side. That's all you need for commercial windows. You'll find you can get a lot more possibility of drips from the sides of the seals or drips from the top even after detailing if you slam your mops if you slam your sleeve into the sides or the top alfredo what's the number one thing you hate that window cleaners do <laughs> you have to choose one. Uh, we've got move the signs. Or when people don't move the signs? No, yeah, the, the, you hate moving them? We have to move the signs or the windows. You know, the, so you don't like moving the signs? The sign with <laughs> the light. The neon light? The you don't like moving that? But what 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 do you what do you hate that other window cleaners do? Not what do you hate about your job. Oh, <laughs> when when new guys. Oh, not dry the dog, leave the water in the... They don't clean up their water. Uh, okay, good. It's gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Another very bad technique is that. If you are going to use a swivel tool, you cannot start off by doing this and thinking that you don't have to come back and catch it like this. I see a bunch of guys start here, fin it, and never come back to that point, which you need to. Come on, what's the technique? How about when you you thought that straight pulls were better than fanny, and now I you like fanny? That. I just couldn't fan. That's true. <laughs> He's trying to interview me, and I don't like it. <laughs> it's very polite. Come on, Alex. You failed. Yeah. You froze up like an orange popsicle. No, but that's not a very logical question. It is a logical question. There's nothing that I know. Oh, you that. know nothing? That's <laughs> horrible to say. <laughs> you know nothing. Uh, you know nothing. <laughs> <laughs>